It was buried in the allotment. Denise dug it up. Buried by who? The murderer? Surely the police should see this. Now he wants to go to the police. But what else is on it? Nothing. No unusual numbers, no weird voicemails. Just an unsent text to you asking for cocaine. I had her off it. The crash got to her. By the time she left Devon, she was clean. But then she came back to London and you had your breakdown. You're trying to blame me? She said it was the only thing that kept her going while you were away. So how did you end up buying her it? She was doing it all the time. I was just trying to control it. So what, you went to the dealer? No, I called them and they deliver it. Hold on. You've had drug dealers here. If you've had drug dealers in this house... And she gave you the money and you gave it to them and that way you felt you could control it? And the less time she spent with those people, the better. Oh, how convenient. You're dealing drugs to your sister in a, a heroic way, like a guardian angel. Convenient. You say that I can't handle responsibility. Well, let me tell you something about responsibility. This I've got to hear. Responsibility is about being there for someone when they barely deserve your time, let alone love. You, you, you think it was convenient for me to take on all of her hate and, and sadness? No, I did it because you wouldn't. You never gave me a chance. I'm calling the police. Exactly. Exactly. That's exactly what you would have done if I came to you and told you about Lucy's habit. Told the police. You know, taught her a lesson, just what she needed. Well, maybe she'd still be alive if I had. No one is calling the police. You just don't get it. Do you know why Bobby didn't want to go to school today? No kid wants to go to school. OK, so it's got nothing to do with how he was being bullied in Birmingham. I, I didn't want to worry you, Ian. And Bobby didn't want to tell his dad. That sound familiar? How bad was it? Now, I bet all you've done today is just shout at him. Peter screamed at him, you know, for, for getting in the way of you doing your so important Ian Beale things. Or when he came to you, I bet you just dismissed him, just, just strained his tie, sent him on his way. So would it really be such a shock if one day someone offers him drugs and he goes, why not? You know, why not? Maybe it'll make my life just a little bit more bearable. Or Lucy, your golden girl, who'd rather take coke then come home and listen to your pathetic problems. Peter. Anything just to blot out your pathetic voice. What, why are you crying? Why are you crying? You know the last thing she, she said to me? No, no, you're not doing this for her. You're doing it for you. You still think this is something that's happened to you, not me. Not Bobby, you. Stop crying. Hey, Peter. Okay, we don't want your tears. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Don't cry another drop. You know what? I'm going to go and find out Lauren's answer. Because I've got nothing to feel guilty for. Maybe you cry so much because you do.